You've just moved to the most scandalous street in suburbia. You are the newest housewife on Wisteria Lane and control everything from your personality and appearance to the look of your new home, to whom you choose to befriend or backstab. Interact with Susan, Bree, Lynette, Gabrielle, and Edie while you uncover juicy secrets, dirty laundry, and the most shocking mystery of all, your own. Design your housewife and family, shop for clothes, and decorate your perfect home. Enjoy unique game episodes with all new story, characters, and even juicier secrets. Seduce, snoop, flirt, outwit, and share your dirty laundry with Susan, Lynette, Brie, Gabrielle, and Edie. Many activities include cooking, gardening, and playing poker with the housewives. Tony, I gotta say, man, I'm so excited that this is going to be our next long series we're gonna play on the show. Oh, man, I hope all you guys are ready. We are going to go balls deep in this game. Into Desperate Housewives. The The game! game. Ooh, I hope you guys loved that reading. (laughs) Because it only gets better from here. So, actually, we're not gonna gonna be a single episode playthrough. God, no, yeah. (laughs) I'm already uncomfortable. All right. Well, we gotta we gotta address our wow. I think, what, her spine is crazy. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait. Like who? What what is that? Like what are they doing? All right. We gotta choose some weird combos here. Okay. Since we have the means of it. Yeah, because Chris and I are fashion designers all the time. Um. No, it's still a little too cute. There we go. I like I like the the gym right, shorts right. and the uh, sweater. But we should probably give her like a really ugly colored sweater, right? Oh, we right? Can do sexy oh, pose. Oh, sexy pose. Nice. Let's look at Demure. Let's look at Demure. Oh, she's so shy. Oh, so shy. So, oh. so we, we're playing this game because I randomly bought it, I think, at a, like a Goodwill for a dollar. Yeah, dude. And uh, Dollar game. We were like, Tony and I were trying to play some, some really just awful games from like that that run on Windows 93 and we could yeah, get it right? to work. So we were like, what else can we play? Let's Duh. play this game. Desperate Housewives. The game. <laughs> so yeah, we decided that Chris and I would like to try and do a series of games that we've never really played before. And just kind of toss up on the screen and see what happens. Let's call him uh, <laughs> Vladimir Destroyer. Uh, oh, Destroyer. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, what's her husband's name? Oh, Andy? man. He should be, um... Ooh, Garth? Garth. Okay. And then our <laughs> son should be Diggity Dog. Diggity? No, nah, that's Diggy Dog. What do you... What, diggity? Diggity... Dog. Dog. That's do- Doug. Dog. <laughs> dog. There we go. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's jump into this. <laughs> what kind of school is Pershing Academy where oh. Danielle wants to go? Also, the game comes with a free lipstick pen inside. We didn't get it. I didn't get it because it was pre-owned and they must have used the whole lipstick. I kind of wish they would have put the pre-owned lipstick pen in there. I know, right? Just to I give feel, the idea. I feel gypped. I was joking before we started playing. I was like, what if this game actually turns out to be really just like awesome? And Tony was like, well, let's look and see what kind of reviews are out there. And everything was like 60 out of 100 or like or 3 like out of 5. 80 out of 82 out of 100 for IGN. IGN, what are you doing, man? <laughs> 82? I mean, we, have, 8. We, we haven't seen the game yet. No, so true. We, we don't know. True, we don't true. Know. I mean, Chris and I are avid, desperate housewives watchers. I watched the DH, man. Sure. Yeah. My mother did. Yeah, mine didn't. I don't think. Hey, Ma, did you watch it? You're not going to see this. Let's just start. You got to get the start button. I don't have a mouse. I don't... How did you pick a game already? Is this, is this how the game ends? I mean, I hit start already. But where's your desktop go? Where's... What has Desperate Housewives done to your computer? Seriously, man. There we go. Oh, okay. my God. Now we're in. Oh, look at those. Look at, look at that town. Look at those houses and them trees. I mean, so, I mean, first impression, the graphics are actually yeah. surprisingly better than I thought. Yeah, they're really, they're really not that bad. Is this us? Wait, are we getting... Oh, we, dang. Oh. I, wait, was that us? That's us now. 
We have a scar on her face? I didn't put that there. Are we abused? Maybe it's an abusive relationship. Oh, what if it is? Oh, fuck, dude. We gotta Maybe get out of here. getting kind of deep for a... Whoa, that dude is like... Strangely... I don't know. The way that he was lit, he had like shadows <laughs> yeah, right. under his cheekbones. He was so muscular. She runs weird. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, suddenly like... The... Art quality was like blocky and yeah, shaky right. all of a sudden. I wonder if this was like an overview of everything. Yeah, it must be. I mean, it's sort of like the introduction sequence, right? They're like, oh, this is the world you're about to. Oh, whoa. Okay. So, this is kind of like a Sims game. It's entirely like a Sims game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Uh, hint. Camera movement. Okay, cool. Whoa, okay. That's, I mean, that's kind of cool. So, the house looks good inside. Like, the, like, Oh, nice. Okay, let's watch some TV. Dude, everyone on YouTube is playing Sims 4. Pfft, we're playing Desperate Housewives. This is where it's at. That's what it's about, that Desperate Housewives life. Oh, wait, I can upgrade my chair? Oh, dude. Dude. Yes. Couch. Is it like, couch is two actions. Sit and upgrade. Sit will raise your composure need. Upgrade Com- will allow you to upgrade your need. couch. <laughs> upgrade will allow you to upgrade <laughs> your couch. Oh, well. Thanks, Upgrade. <laughs> Ah, well, so you'll regain composure more frequently. But like, why would you upgrade only? Why would you upgrade more than one? I mean, this is like the go-to chair now, right? Whoa. Okay. So I guess it's this is like tutorial mode where they're like, all right, this is how you do everything. Let's open that door. We're learning. I wonder if We're learning how to be a desperate housewife. I wonder if there's not having a fair Whoa, button. Oh. Oh, we just. You're now involved in conversation. Okay. Cool. Her name is Destroyer. I'm Eddie. Eddie? Is it Edie or Eddie? I'm I think not it's sure. Edie. Uh, Can someone comment below for us on that? Edie. Brit, right? Please call me Vladimir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Vladimir. Oh, wow. As Fairview's oh, number one real estate broker for two years running, I feel it's my obligation to show you around your new house. Do you mind if I come in? All right, what should we say? Should we be... Well, she's already in the house. Oh, okay, so traditionally, when is supposed to wait for a response to that question? Thanks, so let me give you a little dirt on this place. Wow. Did she like, close her out? Something like that. This house was actually built on an ancient Indian burial ground. What? Did this just turn into Pet cemetery? <laughs> yeah, right. Holy or shit. poltergeist. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Although that was... Oh, no, that yeah, was ancient. Deal. Yeah. Oh, shit, dude. Poltergeist. We should have, like, the... Ooh. Dude, I would be so happy if, like, we were like, all right, we're, we're playing Desperate Housewives, and then it was like, shit's going crazy. <laughs> Trees are trying to kill people. It's like paranormal like, activity. There are dead bodies in the swimming pool. <laughs> what is happening? It was like, oh, my God, I see now why everyone rated this game so well. Yeah, right? <laughs> shit got cray. <laughs> How exciting. I love a house with an interesting past. <laughs> wow, I didn't think you'd be excited about that. You're kind of weird, you know that? Oh god, fortunately I was just kidding. Besides, do you think I'd really tell you if it was? What kind of saleswoman would I be? Right, but I you stop. just admitted that... What? <laughs> there have been a few news- newsworthy events on the street, however. Dude, they don't make no sense. They're like, hey, whatever, fuck it. Cut the crap, Edie. Oh shit. No, I'm quite serious moving on. You should, like, play totally, like, flip it, like, flip on her all the time, be, like, really mad one time, then really happy. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, this is some kind, this, this is some nice furniture you have in here. Wow, nice big TV. Really, I always thought it was sort of small. Hey, wait a minute. Actually, I just remembered that I have an appointment I need to get to. Houses don't sell themselves, you know. Believe me, I wish they did sometimes. But you got a job. <laughs> If you need anything, call me on my cell. Here's the number. She's like, fuck, no, you tell her, fuck off. <laughs> Thanks. You certainly are the most unique person I've uh, met so far. And by unique, I mean overbearingly obnoxious. <laughs> I wish she was like, Did she say so? Oh, no. I wish she was like, fucking bitch. Yeah, yeah, bitch. <laughs> fucking, what's wrong with you? Why are they all wearing the same dress? Whoa, and there's someone else already coming here, dude. These people need to calm down. I gotta, like, customize my house. Dude, your name's Vladimir. Everyone wants to meet Vladimir. Oh, hello, Brie. Would you please come in? Aren't you a dear? I would, but I'm having coffee with the other wives right now. Oh, my. 
In fact, the reason I came over was to see if you wanted to join us. Oh, man. Well, I'm actually really not comfortable meeting any people yet. I'm a little shy. <laughs> Don't worry about that. There are just a few of us and we promise not to bite much. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. It didn't say that. <laughs> I'll make my way over there as soon as I can. Am I making Excellent. Character... See you soon. Am I accidentally making our character have identity disassociated? I think disorder? we kind of are. I'm sorry. She's like, hey, hey, hey. oh, interesting. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> we got to go hang out with the wives. Let's go outside. Let's get to the important shit. Yeah, because when you're in the Desperate Housewives Club or the DHC... Dude, that's where that's where it's at, You man. know what's up. You are one of them classy broads. Right? Like... You're just not living until you're hanging out with the desperate, the desperate wives. That house. I wish they called themselves the desperate. Yeah, right. <laughs> That'd be pretty like, bad. Actually. First meeting of the desperate housewives club. We hate our husbands. Well, I don't know if they don't. Is, no, I see. I've never seen this show. Really, I I don't actually know. I think I think my to... girlfriend has. Is she gonna be mad that we're we're making fun? Oh of this God, game? probably not. <laughs> I mean, I hope that anyone that sees that we're playing this game, like, knows that this is very different from what we normally play. Yeah, so. no. Yeah, we're idiots. <laughs> oh, that's not what you're trying to say. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I mean, I'm, just... I'm not denying that either. <laughs> I wonder if this is an option to break in instead of knock, like, kick the door down. Jeez, this smart camera is weird, dude. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it. Like, I, I understand what it's trying to do. Or it's trying to, like, So, hold on. Did you say go inside and now it's having you walk around? No, it, I couldn't knock. So, I was like, well, if I know, I'll just... I don't even know where... Dude, where's where she are, going? Where, where are the wives at? We gotta mingle. Oh, we have a little uh, objective arrow. Can we run? Please? Oh, you know, objective arrows would have been nice oh, in shit. South this Park must be game. it. Okay, yeah, boom. She's walking right through their lawn. That's not nice. You're gonna ruin their grass and their mulch. Fucking... All that shit. Dude, that's how you make sure that our house is the best. Oh, you there better them. be like a way to ruin their lawns. Right? I mean, how else are you going to have drama? Oh, dang. It's oh, like hi, a- Vladimir. Glad you could make it. And look at you. All done up for a girl's night out. I was just grateful to, for any excuse to get out of the house. Why don't you make yourself at home, Vladimir? Everyone is excited to meet the new girl on Wisteria Lane. Oh, I think I'll do that. I can't wait to meet everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ooh, shit, dude, start fucking play playing the piano. the piano. This is how you make friends, dude. Oh, you but someone's gotta, arguing. Like, Look at that one. Oh, they're not arguing. I don't know. No, no. <laughs> they, they seem way too happy. <laughs> Man, these bouncing arrows are a little intense. Dude, they're freaking me out a little bit. It's like, go here, go here, go here, go here, go there, go there, go there, go here, go there, go there, go there. what it is. Go here, go there. Stop mingling. Just go do objectives now. No piano, no piano. <laughs> okay, you want to read her? Oh, sorry. Hello, Vladimir. So nice to meet you. I'm Suzanne Mayer. It's nice to meet you, too. Now is that Mrs. Mayer or Ms. Mayer? Some of us might be interested. Oh, I'm not married <laughs> anymore. Just call me Susan. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, Susan. Wait, hold, where are what options? happened to your husband? Or was it a messy divorce? Or not married anymore? I'm sorry to hear that. What happened? Do I be like a total bitch and just pick like, yeah, yeah, yeah? Well, we gotta get. No, the it's okay. Just the standard happy marriage turned better divorce turned bitter divorce. At least I got something good out of it. My daughter Julie. Oh, that's nice. That that's actually a lot nicer than I expected that's it to be. Sweet. I thought one, she was gonna be like my house. Yeah, right. One day I found out that my ex Carl was cheating on me with his secretary. What a generic plot line. So I did the only sensible thing. I kicked him in the ball. I kicked him out, or he left. Depends on who tells the story, I guess. <laughs> this is such a douchey response. Couldn't keep him interested <laughs> in the goods. What is the huh? what is, oh just. <sighs> I'm glad, I'm glad you... you got yourself and your daughter away from him. What a bastard. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, you poor dear. Dude, oh, I'm, tell- I'm going to be it's a dick. A, yeah, I think I'd be a dick. I mean... Well, I'm completely over him now. I can concentrate more on my children's books this way, too. By the way, I'm a book writer. So tell me about yourself. What does your husband do? He's a very talented and respected doctor. Really? I did a doctor not that long ago. Dr. Ron didn't really end that well, though. 
Mm. See, mm. the thing is, I just had remarried my ex-husband for health insurance purposes, and I tried to protect Dr. Ron's feelings by not telling him. But for some reason, he didn't just get that I was looking out for him. Oh, man. It sounds to me like trust was the issue. He had the right. He had a right to be mad. Ooh. Really? Maybe you're right. I always wind up hurting people. Oh. I'm just trying to do the right thing. We're being an awful person and the nicest woman. Don't beat yourself up. Yeah, right. Just toy You <laughs> seem like a good person. <laughs> Thanks. It's really nice to have an outside opinion once in a while. She's the nice one, and here we are. Emotionally like, abusing yeah, this poor woman. Yeah, being like, oh, well, I guess you're not pretty enough. Oh. Uh, Man. That was... I feel bad. Yeah, I feel like... Now I'm just going to feel bad after playing this game. <laughs> yeah, right? We we came into this... Expe- I mean, like, I've never seen Desperate Housewives. Re- oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> just let me walk <laughs> over there. Like, I've never really seen the pick show, me, pick right? Me, pick so me, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. Like, the show always never appealed to me because I assumed that it was a show just about awful people. And, like... I think there's, like, a mix. I think, like, some of them have to be, like... Sympathetic, I, right? From a writing perspective, I think it's right. Because otherwise, how do you in- identify with anyone? Unless you're an awful person, but yeah, I, I yeah. Guess. Awful people like to think that they're good people. So right, right. How neighbor? Welcome to the neighborhood. I'm Lynette Scavo. I'm Vladimir Destroyer. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Let me do a little preemptive strike here and apologize in advance for anything my brood might do to you or your house. That's okay. They're amazing kids, but you know how it is sometimes. They just get a little out of hand, especially when the three boys get together. <laughs> Thanks. I'll be sure to lock my doors from now on. She's like, oh, Once they're on the inside. <laughs> I thought it better to prepare the uninitiated for the worst. My twins sometimes act like they just escaped from a zoo. <laughs> and my oldest just follows along on their adventures. <laughs> my son had his share of adventures... But in the end, he learned this from the lessons my husband handed down from oh. on his behind. When you work in advertising, you find all sorts of creative ways to deal with bad behavior. Tom and I have found ways to handle them without resorting to spanking. It's actually yeah, that's I mean, a that's, pretty respectable that's actually, thing. Actually. Get, get on you, that Skimmel. Yeah, I like you. I, yeah. yeah, we traded staying home with the kids for the first couple of years, but now we found a way to, for both of us to work and spend time with the kids. I completely agree. My job as a wife, housewife is what keeps me going each day. I was a stay-at-home mom for five years, so I understand. I don't want to keep you all myself, but thanks for chatting. Have fun talking to the women. Good for you. I like Lynette. Good job, Lynette. The last two women have been quite nice. Yeah, I was unnecessarily shitty to... Uh, uh, Suzanne, whoever Susan, her name is. Susan. Um, Susan. Susan Mayer. It's okay. We've we've turned another leaf. Yeah, right? We're, we're ready to... Um, but Gabrielle, man... I don't know. Hello, Vladimir. I'm Gabrielle Souls, but you can call me Gabby. Hello, Gabby. I have to say that dress you're wearing is absolutely stunning. This whole thing, oh, it's nothing special. Stella gave it to me years ago, but but around here, it's practically hot couture. Couture. I don't know what they're saying, but that's okay. Wow, you must have a lot of pool in this neighborhood to have people like Stella give you such extravagant dresses. Who do you know? Stella! Well, I, I don't want to be immodest, but I was actually an incredibly successful fashion model before I married Carlos and moved to Fairview. This Carlos must have been some man to be able to pull you away from a life like that. So what does your husband do? A murder's kid, whatever. <laughs> He's a doctor, family practice physician, to be specific. Hmm, a doctor. I guess we know that you are well taken care of. We should go shopping sometime. I know all the best, best places around here. Absolutely. I'd love to go shopping with you. I love to buy new human skin clothes. You sound like a woman after my own heart. <laughs> We're gonna get along fine. Goodbye, horses. Wow, okay, so, I mean, really... 
I guess I went in assuming that characters would be bad. They're yeah, all but that's pretty, pretty all right. Good people. So then my, I guess my question, since we're not actually doing a full play, we're not this, doing a full play through um, this. I wonder if like this game is more about interacting with them and becoming friends with them, kind of like what The Sims is, or if. You know, some of them create conflict later on. Well, social scenarios that have what it sounds like from the box, and I can just go off of what I read on the back of the box was you actually play through either new episodes or you play in episodes that have happened, but with your own twist to it. And so I'm sure there'll be conflict between the people. Um, okay, so do you think like they will have on. their own internal conflict? I have a will feeling kind of they will. Be like, how can I help? Maybe, or how things. can I ruin it? I mean, I have a feeling that's, that's going to be one or two, one of two ways. Because if you saw, whenever you made a connection with somebody, it had like the two hands, yeah. like and green. So that probably means you made a good connection. Is okay. my guess. So game design wise, this initial section of interacting with all the wives are probably the whole point of this is to establish like a foundation for your relationships with all of them. Yeah, and I think maybe part of it is also that they they expect the players to have seen the show so you probably already have like connection you you already have feelings about some of these characters and then you go and kind of like it's like metagaming almost because you're like I know what these people are really like I'm going to establish that I hate this lady Right, exactly. I think that's what this is all for. I mean, obviously, like, when you make a game based off of a television show, and you call it something, something, the game, you know, it's going to appeal to those who have watched the show. Oh, yeah. And, and, I mean, very rarely would you ever find anyone, like us, I guess, is a good example, where they just pick up the game even though like, they haven't hey, seen the show. And that's the point of these kind of playthroughs we want to do, is just to pick up something. And really, like, my issue is when you're in that house, you literally tried to walk, and you yeah, clicked on yeah. a chair, a window, <laughs> another chair, a sofa, but not the spot you wanted to go to. I feel like there's a lot of clutter. Yeah, th- I mean, I it makes me wonder, because I'm sure The Sims had a lot of that when I'm they were sure. initially developing that game. And, like, you can really see that it, it can be kind of hard to navigate sometimes, especially... Yeah. Um, I'm sure there's a way to change the camera too to kind of like yeah, I'm sure. make it more free roam rather than using the smart camera, I think is what right. they called it. Um, but yeah, I, I think the interface kind of is cluttered. I'm actually, I don't think I'm a fan of their smart camera, but I think no. the point was to like keep you focused on your character. On your character, I um, totally agree. Especially since you're not managing a full family right. like you are in The Sims. Right, because um, it doesn't seem like you'll control your husband or your son. Mm-hmm. Um, at least it doesn't feel like that. Uh, what is interesting is it definitely does like feel like a Sims game, and I can't blame Desperate Housewives for wanting to take a Sims approach. I mean, because consider a... if you're going to make a game that follows a similar idea, why not you know mimic or learn from the best? All right, wasn't the Sims a really big deal back in 06? Like, oh I yeah, feel man. like that's when they were getting. I don't know which Sims that would have been. It might have been like three. I I don't know. I don't play Sims. I mean, I, I've dabbled in Sims, but I'm not, like, a hardcore player. Um, but, I mean, I can see some people just look at this as kind of, like, a cheap knockoff of it as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's definitely more of a storytelling aspect in this that The Sims definitely <clears throat> does not have. Right. I think that's the main appeal for the game, right? Is that right. You, you play this game because you want to engage in the story of, of The Desperate Housewives. Right. You don't play it because you want to create your own story like you do in The Sims. Exactly. Um, so for like me, this game is not entirely interesting. I think it has some interesting ideas to it, and really it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I I guess... I wonder if, if that's kind of what the, uh, the reviewers of this game kind of had in mind. Yeah. Um, but I... Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I like to judge a game... Um, outside of its its bubble, right? Like, right. So, like, I feel like while this game may not be for us, um, I don't think it should require the context of the TV show to, to make it enjoyable. Right. And I'm not saying that it, it's bad either. Um, I, I just don't think we're going to play long enough to really come to that decision. Yeah, no. I mean, like I said, the graphics aren't bad. Um, the problem is it's really overly cluttered. Um Navigation is miserable, though. Yeah, I'm about to say, it it looks awful. It's like... 
Am I leaving? No. I don't know, dude. You're like going. This ground like... texture is not the. <laughs> what if that car will hit you? Just see if that car will like. Nope. Bram, bram. nope. Do I have a car? That'd be oh, kind of sweet. Can we, can we GTA I, dude, this I don't right even, now? I actually don't even remember which house is mine. It's the one that looks nothing like the others. Uh, Does that help you at all? Not even a little. Can I, like... It looks like there's some kind of mechanic with, like, the relationships. Um, did you see that? Go back to the face on your little mini-map there. This one? Uh, yeah, and then scroll down. I think it showed your husband and your son, didn't it? Oh, it was... This one. So it looks like there is some kind of, like, meter for, like, happiness and, like... Your husband's... Respect my, my friendship. And friendship. Wow. Pretty low respect and friendship. Well, they probably wanted to start you off low so you build up to something. Yeah, that's definitely... Uh, yeah. But you think they want to have at least your husband and your son start off high and then see oh, if you can yeah. drop that. Here we go. This is this is the jam. Can I not... Oh. Uh... Yeah, the camera really doesn't want to let you free No, it this. really does not. It's kind of surprising. Hey, look at that. An ad for Sears. Are you serious? It's in the corner. Look at it. Holy shit. Yeah. Whoa. There is an ad for Whoa. Sears. Whoa. That doesn't get any more blatant. I mean, I guess... Wow. Yeah, I guess if you're going to make a, a game that appeals to a very niche audience... Well, I guess it's not super niche, but a very specific audience. Right. I, I guess ads aren't going to necessarily scare them away. But, like, imagine, like, most of the time when we see ads in games, it's like, oh, this is a free game. The ads are what you what are used to support it. Right. This is a game where you probably would drop 40, 50 bucks no, on No, this was only 20. I was looking at the reviews, and they said it was nineteen ninety nine. Really? When yeah. it first released? Yeah. Wow, okay, well, maybe that was, like, their method of, like... Get people to play it. Allowing them to sell it at a lower price and then getting yeah. some, like, marketing stuff. That's interesting. You don't see that very often, actually. Yeah, I mean, so good on them for at least not charging an arm and a leg for a game that might not be all that, like... I, well, I think they were probably trying to make the barrier as low as they could afford right. to get yep. more people to jump into the game. Um, especially because I bet you... I don't know what the target demographic is for Desperate Housewives, but I yeah. think it's middle-aged women. Um, I probably daughter, like their daughters or something, because I feel like I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I have no idea. I, I mean, don't. I'm I'm sure there are, are are guys that are into the show too. I think it's probably right. predominantly middle-aged women, and then either their husbands or just like dudes that are into this stuff. Yeah, like, I, I have no idea. That's I think something I think that younger I, people like us. It's it's not really. It's for a little us. lost on us. Um, and but my point is basically that you know uh, maybe they're not really game players so maybe they wanted a lower right and a lot of, and to from what reviews I could read really quickly before we started playing this was it sounds like it's kind of like it's railroaded and like oh really yeah it's huh. you know like it's like a sim it's a little light. expected yeah but if it's for a game that pe and this is probably trying to attract the demographic that doesn't play games mm -hmm. so in a way I am sure that this is helpful for those people to be like oh this is a fun enough and easy enough game I feel like I can do this you know um but again I don't know because I'm not really positive what the demographic is that is totally fair um, well I think we've we've Played enough. I think yeah, we've made our point. Boring. We made our jokes yeah. and really, apologized yeah, not, a little bit. Yeah, for right. <laughs> yeah, really. Like we have nothing against this show, this game. Like yeah, yeah. You know, it's just kind of silly for us to play because we don't really have any stake in it. And, and that's why we wanted to kind of be silly about yeah, it. Exactly. Exactly. But uh, um, I guess do you have any other final thoughts on on this? You know, at the end of the day, for the price that this game was sold at, if it was nineteen ninety nine, for all the functionality and like the story, I mean, really, it's not that bad it just doesn't particularly interest me there um what's our question of the day <sighs> oh man how do you design a game that expects the the players yes to have this previous knowledge i think that's a good question i think that i think that is the question how do you design a game based off of something with a previous can and a previous knowledge right and and especially it's like difficult. yeah I, I i guess the follow-up question is should you expect your players yeah, to have this previous right? knowledge or should you design it or write it to accommodate a possible lack of knowledge? Right. Oh, look at that. Pretty Miss Young thing right there. Oh, hey, could I help you? Well, anyway. Oh, sorry. This really isn't as bad as it looks, Vladimir. Oh, she tried to get some with her hubby, maybe. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. I hear, this isn't the first time this has happened. The ladies told me you had a 
a habit of snooping in other people's mailboxes. Oh, she's a snoopy snooper. Oh, dang. So oh, this is... This that is, is, that's ridiculous. Ridiculous or not, the proof is in the pudding, and You gotta eating. tell her that. All right, I know it looks bad, but please don't tell the other ladies. Why should I keep them from this? Well, you wouldn't know if... Yeah, but our mailman can be a little absent-minded. Sounds like she's trying to backpedal. What would this package be worth to you? How about your soul? You have my package, don't you? This sounds like it's going to get to weird porn levels. I think it's a good time to stop. <laughs> We're talking about packages and absent-minded oh, mailmen and don't give it to oh, me. My. Well, people of the we, interwebs. Yeah, we hope you enjoyed this ridiculous episode. Yeah. Um, Tell us if there's any other ridiculous game you want us to try. We won't play it. We seriously will not try it until we play it here. Yeah, okay. So send us your ridiculous games, guys. <laughs> seriously. All right, well, thank you for watching, everybody, and we will see you in the archives. Bye. Another camera. 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 Another camera.